I need to know whether this site offers free shipping. So I'm going to open up the chatbot, ask a question, and within a couple of seconds, the AI chatbot will give me an answer. Great, awesome. Now I need to know whether they offer any lamps. So I ask to recommend me one. And once again, within a couple of seconds, the AI bot is going through the product catalog, gives me a recommendation and provides me product links. I can just open it up, add it to the cart or continue the chat. I can also talk to a human. I just need to press on this button. Now setting this up is really easy. It's going to take only a couple of minutes. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. The service I'm going to use to create such a chatbot is called Quick CAP. I hope I pronounce it correctly. They promise that the chatbot can handle up to 98% of your support chats. And they also say that you can increase your conversion rates by more than 30%. You can use it for free because they have a free plan up to 100 messages per month, one seat. If you need more, then there is also a starter package and growth package. And if you need even more, there is a enterprise package. The prices you see on the screen are the current prices and those are the official prices. But if you take a look at the description of this video, then there is a nice 30% discount coupon. Just follow the link, use the coupon and you're good to go. Now let's click on the get started button, create your account. And if this is done, then you can create your store. You can choose between Shopify, Shoplaza, Shopline, WooCommerce or some other platform. I'm using the WooCommerce, so I'm going to add my site name, my URL, and now I'm going to connect it to the WooCommerce. It's fairly simple, so nothing difficult here. When my site has been connected, then I can select the web pages or products or my catalog that I would like to use for training the chatbot. So I'm going to choose about us page contact page, front page, for sure I'm going to select returns, services, terms and conditions, rights of withdrawals, shipping information. And now I'm going to add two selected web pages to the training. It will analyze my site and based on the information, the chatbot can answer all sorts of questions. After the analyzing, I'm going to click on start training button. And now it's going to take a couple of minutes to set it up. If you need to add your sources, then later on the dashboard, there is a manage source link. Just open it up, click on new source button. And what you can do is you can upload your own files, for example, files that contain frequently asked questions, all sorts of product information and so on. If you would like to test your bot, just click on this button and you can do that. Now let's take a look at the settings. Those are the ones here below. I can customize my chatbot, choose a color, add my avatar. I already did it. Online status text. Here you can change the text with typically for offline status. You can change the layout, left, right, top, bottom. Change initial page text, bottom line text. You can activate concluding remarks. If you're gathering information, then change the text here and what type of information you're collecting, you can add quick menus. And if you would like the transfer to human agent button to be visible, always then choose it here. Otherwise you can activate display in specified scenarios or hide it altogether. And here is a button text. Next one is the important one. Go to the integrations and there is a JavaScript code here. Just copy it, go to your site and add this code in the head part of your site. I'm using the Bloxy team, that is, I can use the content blocks for it. If you don't use it, then go to the plugins, add new plugin and search for WP code, install it, activate it. Next, you'll see the code snippets menu here. There is a header and the footer section. Just add this code here, save changes, activate it and you're good to go. Next one, plugin settings, that is chatbot visibility. PC or mobile, both, only PC, only mobile, hide plugin. You can connect your email, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, although this is only for the enterprise version. You can connect your Amazon shop. You can set up the sessions, agent statuses. Currently it's busy and idle. You can upload your image here, set up the notifications, and you can set up the quick replies. Those are really useful. What they can do for you is 
For example, during the chat, you can open up the quick reply, add it here and send it. You don't have to type it every time you need to answer the same questions. So back to the settings, quick replies, you can set up those here. You can export task, import task. There is a data center that you can use to export your data, organization info and so on. Now let's take a look at the bots. Those are my bots currently, as I showed you before. It has 26 products and some other information here. But you can create your own flow bots. There are a bunch of flow templates here you can use, for example, new customer discount, Shopify, ad purchase reminder. You can set up the win back abandoned cart flow bot. As you see, a bunch of those here. Just to demonstrate, let's open up one, give it the title, create bot. And as you see, what happens if something happens? If there is an abandoned cart, then you can either send a message, deliver coupons and so on. You can add your own triggers and conditions and actions here. Just choose the action or condition or trigger. In order to keep this video short, I'm not going to show you how to set those up, but you can use the templates or create one from the scratch. Now, if you find this video helpful so far, then don't forget to smash that like button down below here. It means a lot to me and it also helps my channel. So I would appreciate your help. There is a bot launcher. And what is a bot launcher? This is the message you see here. Welcome to our website, ask us anything. If I click on get started, then hi, please let us know how can we help you today. This is a message you can customize here. Under the playground, you can test your bot. Under the chats menu, you'll see all the chats that are going on or you can see the history. If the person wants to talk to a human, there is a notification. You have a new message. Talk to a human. Open it up. Join chat. Say something. And it's displayed inside the chatbot here. On the right, you can see the customer profile. If the person has purchased something previously, then you can see the, all the order values and other information here. Campaigns, automation and pop-ups are only for the enterprise plan, so I'm going to skip those. You can create your email templates. If you would like to send out emails, then you can create those here. The contacts menu displays all the contacts that have signed up for the newsletter. So what does it mean? If someone opens up the chatbot and starts a conversation, he or she needs to add an email and there is a sign up for the, our newsletter checkbox. If they sign up for the newsletter, then all the information is displayed here. And if you open up the contact, you'll see the basic information, data information. For example, this person has viewed four pages, viewed one product, but hasn't purchased anything. All the information is here. You can see whether the product was added to the cart, whether the person started checkout, whether the person abandoned checkout, and so on. You can also add tags to your campaigns or contacts. If you have an enterprise plan, then you can create segments. And under the analytics, you'll see all the analytics for this shop. Messages, workload, satisfaction score, and conversation category. There is also an articles part. You can create documents and publish your help center to assist customers. And you can activate it here. Down below, you can see all the credits you have for this plan. I have a growth plan. That is, I have used 86 credits, but I have 3,000 available. So back to the chats. Let's open one up. What else do we have here? As you see, the service integrates with uh, multiple channels and you can reply with live chat. You can reply with email, WhatsApp, Messenger, Instagram, Amazon, SMS, but in order to do so, you need to connect these services. And where you can do that, go to the settings and you can add your email, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, Amazon, and so on. Also, if the website captures the customer's email, the email will be displayed on the right, that is here. And you can also enter or change the email manually. 
If you have configured your email, you can reply to this email address with your own email. Just press on this email button here, compose your email here, and you're good to go. There is also an AI co-pilot here. You can use this one here to reply the messages. And what else you can do? If you have added an answer, you can add this to quick replies. It's an awesome way to speed up your workflow. Just click here and done. You can use quick replies. You can search for products. You can upload files, add emojis and create internal notes. Really simple to use, nothing complicated here. On top, you can mark it for later processing, add tags, print or close. If you need any help, then there is a help center link up here. Just search for the documents or ask their support team. All in all, really simple to use service. And if you need a good AI chatbot for your site, then this is something you may want to try. Wait, if you find this tutorial helpful, then press thumbs up this one here and take a look at this side of the screen. It contains two good videos. I think you may find them useful. Meanwhile, take care. Bye.